Greetings and salutations, my excellent friends. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I'm recording this in the morning, so of course it is coffee time. Mmm. Having it in my Starbucks Jeju mug in honor of the videos that are going out. Well, the video that went out today, the I video along the Jeju Ole Gil, which was a lot of fun. I can't wait to go back and do it again. But that's not what I want to talk about today, because I'm sitting here in front of Bertha, my 27-inch iMac, and as you can tell, I have no hair because I've pulled it all out. Yes. Well, last week, there were a few upgrades released by Apple. You had the iOS 7, and you had the, um, what's it called? What's it called? Oh, the, the Mavericks update. And, um, yeah, that was not quite what I expected. I mean, I do like Mavericks. It's nice. And I, the latest update to iOS 7 fixed a lot of bugs. But, um, yeah, I'm not really digging Mavericks because it finally is causing some problems with Final Cut 7. And the reason why I bring that up is I've been a Final Cut user since 2007. Uh, let me let me check that. I installed it in 2007. I really didn't start using it until 2008 because the learning curve was just <sighs> compared to iMovie 06. So it took me some time to get into it. But now I am really geared towards using it for even simple vlogs. I just go in and do what I need to do. And up until the Maverick update, it worked flawlessly no problem and that's one of the reasons why i never had any kind of desire to move to final cut x but now that i have mavericks i'm having all kinds of problems it just doesn't want to work as seamlessly as it did before and i'm having to constantly find workarounds to get to it to get basic functionality well, i shouldn't say basic functionality i should say to get the functionality that i use i'm having to find all kinds of workarounds and it's causing a lot of problems so i did install final cut x and i've actually gotten somewhat used to it and a few of the videos that have come out have actually been used have been edited in final cut x and i find it okay but a lot of the fine-tuning aspects of Final Cut that I really enjoyed. I haven't found out where they're located. Some of the features are no longer located there, and some of the functionality is just gone. Just gone. Not there anymore. So not really happy about that. Uh, I do, I, I, I do have to say, I do like the new iMovie. They updated iMovie to iMovie, I think, 10 now. And that almost looks like Final Cut X, so if I do something quick and I want to do iMovie, I can do that. The iMovie for iPhone is unbelievable. If you saw uh, some of the vlogs this past week and they're all shot and edited on the iPhone. And I gotta tell you, the new update is awesome. You can activate slow-mo, you can activate high speed, you can do picture in picture, you can do things that normally you had to have a high-end editing program for. And now you can do it right on your phone, which is amazing. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really digging the Maverick update. So uh, what I, well, I've been rambling and ranting and not having a good time for that, but um, yeah. So what I wanna know if, if you have ever had a problem upgrading to anything. I, I, I'm looking back over the years and I really can't think of another type upgrade where I had a problem with software usually everything worked pretty seamlessly going up um i mean it's i mean in this in this issue you know they stopped supporting final cut 7 a number of years ago and all of us that use final cut 7 knew that there was going to be a time where it just wouldn't work on the platform anymore so i, I knew this day was coming but still <gasps> um, if you're wondering what kind of problems i'm having before i, I end this vlog and that specifically seems to be dealing with motion files, motion for files in the timeline and having to export that. I keep on getting that out of memory error. So right now my workaround is converting those motion files into a QuickTime movie, putting that movie into the timeline, and then being able to export it. That seems to be working. We'll find out. I have to, to do next week's I video and we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, this is a long rambling vlog. <laughs> 
you know, this is me. This is me. This is my thought process in the morning with coffee and the things I deal with. But yeah, let me know if you've ever had any problems upgrading to anything. It's sometimes a cringe-worthy experience. Um, I, I, I used to hold off on up, updating, but there's some things that I just really wanted. And it looks like being on the bleeding edge may have caused some problems. So hopefully the next update of Mavericks will solve some of the issues here, but that's it. Anyway, I'm gonna have some more coffee, get back to work. You guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon.